Let me ask you a question. Could you be a garbage collector? You know, of all the possible things God could call you to in a career. Could you be one of those people that rides in the back of a garbage truck and comes house to house, collecting and picking up people's trash and throwing it in this machine that then crushes it? What do you think you'd be uncomfortable about that? The weight? The weather? Maybe the smell? How comfortable with you would you be with working with trash all the time? I think like most careers, you may get used to it. People that work in offices are used to the smell of a copier. People that work in Subway are used to the smell of, well, subs. And sadly, in our life, we get used to things as well. Things that we normally wouldn't have ever let in. Now, after time, they end up smelling and we're just used to it. Maybe it's time for us to take out the trash. Let's talk about that as we meet in the upper room. Our devotional for the day is entitled, Taking Out the Trash, for Friday, July 3rd, 2020. Our scripture reading is Romans chapter 6, verses 1 through 13. Our verse for the day is, Don't let sin reign in your mortal body, so that you obey its evil desires. That's Romans chapter 6, verse 12, in the New International Version. Our thought for the day is this, I want to notice and repent of my sins, so that I may honor God. Maybe you don't know where to find today's scripture lesson or devotion. Log on to upperroom.org slash devotionals. On that page, you'll see a link that clicks you to today's devotion. If you're looking at this at a different date, just simply put the date for today's devotional in the search engine and you'll be able to find it quickly. Go ahead, pause. We'll wait for you. Well, the author of today's devotional talks about cleaning up a mangrove swamp in Colombia in the heat of the day. I don't know about you, but I can't imagine the smell of a trash-ridden place like that. And a group of volunteers who go in 70 or so and clean out that area so that God's creation isn't soiled by man's work. They point to a particular person who came up to them and pointed out that that trash and that experience, they were kind of getting used to it as the day went on. And amazingly, this young person pointed out it's the same way they feel about the sin in their life, that they get used to it after a while. Perhaps the mo- that's the most deceptive part of sin, is that things you wouldn't originally have ever thought of allowing in your life, after a while you just get okay with. And not only do you ask yourself to put up with it, but you ask your family to put up with it. And you ask God to put up with it. Well, Paul writes to the Roman church and asks them to take out their trash. In other words, don't let sin just sit in your life and have rule over places where Jesus wants to reign. Maybe you and I need to be doing a soul search. What things over the years, just due to busyness or tiredness, or no one pushing us a different way, what things have we gotten used to that really don't glorify God? What is in your life that just smells? It's not only affecting your life, but it's affecting those around you. An attitude, a belief, a way you live. Anything, big or small, that you're addicted to that you can't get away from, Jesus wants to remove from your life and bring a sense of clarity and cleanliness, compassion and care, purpose and usefulness in that area. Today's a good day to do some soul searching, to sit down and say, Lord, what have I gotten away with? And how can you help clean that out? Perhaps the time of prayer today should be extended for you. Listening instead of just talking and asking God to clean out that trash. It's time. Let's pray like that today. Let's close with a prayer found in your devotional. God, our maker and friend, create in us a clean spirit 
and a willingness to attune our hearts to live in the light of your truth. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today. You can find links to theupperroom.org plus these video devotional times on the website that's on the screen in front of you. Plus, there are more interactive features, like requesting a prayer request or asking a question. We pray that God blesses you until we meet again in the Upper Room.